voted only so the people know the disaster this peace treaty with Spain will bring us. My foreign policy will not be dictated by public opinion. While we hesitate over Ireland, we give Tyrone and his rebels time to amass yet more Spanish support. We play into their hands. I will not be goaded into war on the say-so of a hothead with delusions of adequacy. You will not turn your back on me, sir! I have not done with you yet! Is it a hothead? Who has the people screaming my name from every rooftop? They know that England's glory lies not in the relics of the past, but in a vision of greatness which can again be ours. You dare to utter such words to me? Dare is what soldiers do. It is what defines us. I will teach you manners yet! No woman shall strike me thus! Queen or not! Handy! Perhaps I should commend the 55th Psalm to the Earl. Bloodthirsty men will not live half their days. <laughs> and those who live too long lose their grasp of the scriptures, my lord. For does not the same psalm also say that God shall cast his enemies into the pit of destruction? The north gate. Your contingent will enter from the river, Henry. Mine will take the main gate. The palace guard. Most will be marshaled to the queen's apartment and council chamber. They fight for coinage. We for a cause, they will not detain us long. But the Queen must not be harmed. She must be confined to her quarters under guard for her own protection. And her counsellors? Rounded up and executed. Forgive the rabble, my lords. Their rage is born from loyalty. A rare commodity in such troubled times, is it not? The Queen awaits your attendance, sir. We come to take you to her. Then I must make myself presentable for such an honour. The rear of the house is safer, my lords. Sir Francis is familiar with the way. They mark the two letters out, sir. We must strike now! Do not mourn my death, for I welcome it. I see now only God can give me the peace I have been denied on earth. God save the Queen. God save us all.